Hi, I'm Ashut. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you the complete data science roadmap that you need to become a data scientist. So data science is undoubtedly the highest payable area in the world. So, but there are less number of people who are skilled in data science and many of them who, who are starting in data science, I mean, are completely doubtful on like what actually the path that we need to follow in order to learn data science and with the courses that are available all over the internet, I mean, people are really confused on how to start data science because some some may I mean treat it as a single course and some may treat it as a combination of multiple things, and yeah, and many. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to give you a clear cut roadmap on how you can actually start learning data science from day one. So the first step in learning data science is a programming language. So you need a programming language in order to start with it. So the most preferred uh, programming language for data science is Python. And the second one is R. So choose one between Python and R. So this is the first step where you need to be, you need to be more good in programming. It was not like just learning the syntax. You should be proficient in data structures and algorithms too. And you should know how everything works, like how loops works and like how you can process particular functions. So you need everything and yeah, I already said data structures and algorithms are pretty much important. And when you are good with that, then you, you successfully completed the first step in, uh, I mean, learning data science. So th this programming part is important. So I, I advise people to go with Python because it is, it is completely uh, I mean, diversified. You can, you can go with any field once after learning Python. So, and this video is also completely Python focused. So all the things that I will uh, tell from the step two are also completely correlated to Python. So I advise to go with Python as a first programming language. And once after you're good with programming, the second step is data analytics. So the main intention of, um, I mean, data science is all about dealing with data. So you take some unorganized data and you present in such a way that it is meaningful and we can get some business out of that data. So in order to make that, you need to be very much comfortable uh, with playing data. So that will be possible by learning data analytics. So yeah, I have courses for everything. So I will give you, I mean, the roadmaps on like how you can learn each step. So for Python, like I have a course in my Udemy. So I will share the link in the description, you will find out. And the second step, data analytics. So I also had a course on data analytics. You will find the link again in the description. So these data analytics, you need basic Python libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. So once you are good with all this, so you know like how to play with data. So how you can actually take data, how you can perform different operations on data, how you can handle CSV files, how you can visualize the data using Matplotlib. You will get to know all these things in data analytics. So once after you're good with data analytics, then move to the third step that is uh, learning web scraping and data wrangling. So web scraping and data wrangling is all about the methods that you use to collect data from internet. So it, it was all about you scrape data from different websites. So like if you if you need a data set and that belongs to some website which is there in the internet, then you need to know like how you can actually do that. There are libraries in Python called Beautiful Soup and other libraries where you can use that to do this. So I also had a course on web scraping. So you will find the link again in the description. So learn web scraping. If you know web scraping, you will be in a position to extract data from any website and any platform. So that is the main step that a data scientist need. That is the main thing the data scientist must have to know. So once after you're good with this, jumping on to the fourth part, that is storytelling. Storytelling is all about, I mean, if you're a data scientist, you must be in a position to tell some story with the data that you have. So it, it was all about presenting, I can say. So you should be good in presentation skills. So presenting whatever the data you have, you need to present in such a way that it, it will have some meaningful insights on that particular data. So you need to be good in presentation skill. Uh, I mean, visualizing using some charts and all those things also. It, you can you can do that by uh, using some data visualization tools called Tableau is one such thing and Power BI. There are various tools out there. So once you learn these tools, you will know how to present data using some visualizations, a beautiful, beautiful visualizations because visualizations are most important in order to present your data, present what you have done now. So, and again, like this fourth step, like 
a storytelling, a data visualization is optional because not everyone will do that. But if you want to uh, grow much faster than a general data scientist, then it is advisable to learn uh, storytelling and data visualization. So this is one thing. So I will share some resources out there, like how to learn tools like Tableau. And, and the fifth step is machine learning. So which is again an important step. So because you just with the help of data and just with the help of programming, you, know, you cannot do anything without writing some great logic. So that machine learning algorithms you need to know in order to become a good data scientist. So machine learning is all about writing some algorithms uh, to predict something out of the data. So you have a data, you know how to handle data with the help of data analytics, and you have some knowledge on programming, then you need some machine learning algorithms to build a model out of it. So I also made a video previously on how to learn machine learning from scratch. So added the link in the description. So this is a fifth step and this is the essential step. So with that, with also you, you need to know some mathematics part like linear algebra and statistics uh, in order to be good in machine learning. So I, I will also include that link in the description. So go and check it out. So once after you're good with machine learning, you are, you are almost a data scientist, but there are a few other things that you need to know. That is deep learning is one such thing. So it is a sixth step. So deep learning is an advanced form of machine learning where if the data is huge and it is scalable, then in, in such cases, machine learning algorithms, I mean, will not perform well. Then in those cases, you need a deep learning, which works with neural networks. So this is one thing. So, well, and like once after learning all these six steps, then also make sure that you are strong in design patterns, system design knowledge. These are all the add-ons. So the more that you know, apart from these six steps, the more the chances are more that you will you will land into a data science job very quickly. So make sure you have some knowledge on design patterns and system design. These are not mandatory, but if you know this, then it will be really helpful. So apart from those six steps, try to focus on these two things also. So yeah, I mean, for, for everything I have added the links, also work on some projects by learning machine learning, try to work on at least two to three projects that really helps you a lot. Because when you have a good portfolio of projects, then it is easy for you to showcase in your network or with the recruiters that you know particular skills. So also try to maintain a good GitHub profile with all the projects and all the practice that you have did. So try to put every single thing in the GitHub and also maintain a good LinkedIn profile. Nowadays, LinkedIn profile can be considered as a resume. So put what are the skills that you know, add in your LinkedIn, what are the projects that you do, post it in LinkedIn. It is the best way to expose your skill set to the recruiters. And yeah, these are all the steps that you need to follow in order to learn data science and become a data scientist. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. And if you really like this video, please share it in your network. And also don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are a new visitor to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.